Hey everyone, I am super excited to finally get around to doing this video. I've been meaning to do it for a couple of months now, but now I finally have the time. So what I am gonna share with you guys today is a look inside of my art day bag. As many of you guys know, I do a lot of cafe sketching, uh, especially um, when I'm between gigs. And I'll go out and I'll bring my sketchbook and maybe a few items and draw people and people watch and it's really fun and it's something I really enjoy. And because of that, I have my art go bag, my day go bag, and it has everything that I usually carry in it when I'm going out and about. And again, I wanted to share that with you guys today. So let's start off with the bag itself. This is a Fjallraven Konkin bag. It's the mini, and I believe the color is ochre. And just like my sketchbooks, I love decorating everything that I have. So it's covered in all of these enamel pins. Each enamel pin has a safety backing on it so that they don't accidentally come off. And a lot of these pins, they're pretty much all art related. Um, this one is says, uh, life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. And I picked that up in Sedona. I don't know who it's from, but I thought it was kind of cute. I have a few enamel pins from Sugar Nova. Um, I picked this up at a convention a while back. It says, yep, I'm the artist. Uh, a Chris Sanders pin here, along with a few others. I still think my favorite one is all of my best work is under NDA and it is still true. So I will try to find all of the artists for these pins and list them below in the description. Um, aside from that, I also decorate the sides with little keychains. I don't know where, I think I must have picked this up in little Tokyo here in Los Angeles, a little mushroom. I picked up these little mushrooms, uh, acrylic charms. I think it was at Designer Con earlier or at the end of last year. They're really cute. Unfortunately, I don't know who the artist is. Um, so if anybody recognizes this uh, and would like to comment down below, please. Oh my gosh, I'd love to find who this artist is. And then my last keychain is this one with a little octopus on it from the Aquarium of the Pacific. Okay, so the mini bag, um, the mini Konkin has the front pouch, the main pouch, and then two side pouches, right? So first I'm going to start off by showing you what's in my side pouches. I have a power bank for when I'm out and about. I always end up using my phone or my uh, iPad for reference and it's really great to be able to charge uh, wherever I go. And then in this other pouch, I have a little towel. It's really dirty, it's filthy. And this is for cleaning up messes, uh, mostly related to watercolor, Copics, inks and such. So uh, it's not very pretty. It used to be really cute, as you can see with these little characters on it, but now um, it has a singular purpose. So I keep this on the side here. Um, let's go into the smaller pocket first. Here I keep my cord for my iPhone and it's got a little shark stopper to it, which I think is really cute. I keep hand lotion, and I should have in here my AirPods. So that's what you can find in the main pouch, and there's still room in there to spare. Um, I'm gonna undo the clips up here at the top, and then open up the main compartment. Now, part of the reason I like the Konkin bags so much is the way that they're designed, so that you can fold this over and see everything that's inside of your bag. That's why I like these so much. And as you can see, this is really well packed, um, but there's still plenty of room to add more things if I needed to add snacks for the day or a few more art supplies. Um, so let's start off with, I've got my hand sanitizer, super important now, but I've always kept this in my bag. Um, let's see, I have my car keys. Uh, I have, especially for right now, I have a little face mask that I wear. Um, and I am still trying to get out and about to sketch. Um, obviously I'm not cafe sketching because of what's going on in the world today, but I do try to find some time to be outside, even if it's just on my patio to do some drawing. Um, I also carry a spritz bottle and a little water container. Now these don't have water in them at the moment. Uh, usually what I would do is I would carry a water bottle with me and then fill them up on the go. And then I use these for watercolors. Let's see, put those off there. Um, up next, I have my tin of my homemade gold watercolor. If you're at all interested, I have a tutorial video here on YouTube where you can learn how to make your own gold watercolor paint. This is my own personal tin. And of course, um, you know, I, you guys all know how much I love tigers. So this is one of my tiger tins. 
Um, also, po apologies in advance, just in case. Um, there is construction work going on in my neighborhood right now, and unfortunately, they seem to start up again as soon as I'm getting close to uh, the end of filming this video. So uh, hopefully they stay quiet, but um, yeah, just sorry in advance, just in case. Um, I also keep two sketchbooks, usually a really small one. This one just has little doodles um, and practices like hand drawing, um, you know, a couple of little minor sketches. Uh, when I was commuting up to Burbank, I would use this uh, during my commute to do some, some little sketches and people watching. Um, which was really fun. Uh, many of you guys might know that I rode the train up to Burbank, which was about two hours every day, which gave me plenty of time to sketch. So this is the one I was primarily using back then. And this is by Cottonwood Arts, as well as the other main sketchbook that I carry. So this is my main sketchbook. Again, you guys can see my books are always covered in stickers. This one's almost completed, so it's going to be retired fairly soon. Um, I have my sketch wallet. If any of you guys have been to CTN or Ground Zero Animation Expo, you'll have seen these guys there. It's a really nice wallet. I think this one is the passport size. It has all of my credit cards, as well as a little sketchbook on the side, and then uh, a place for a little pencil, and then cash if I ever have cash, which I don't. So that's my wallet, and I love it. Um, up next, I have another Fjall Robin Konkin item. I think this is called their um, card wallet. It's very cute. I recently got this. I'm not using it for cards though. You can see though when I open it up on the inside it folds flat. Places for cards and coins but right now mine is holding on to my little watercolor palette. So this is something I carry with me. Um, it's super compact. Uh, I have all of these little pal or these pans in here and they're kept in by magnetic tape. So they're pretty secure. And then I can switch out the colors if I need. And then of course I use this as my palette and then you can shake it up and the, well, <laughs> if I hit it like that, they come loose, but you can shake them up easily enough and they won't come out, which is really great. And see, they went right back to where they should have been even after I hit them like that. So I don't know if this will always be holding my watercolor. I might actually start using it as a wallet, but right now I really like the fact that it all fits. Um, let's see, I have my little brush, which I use, uh, to remove like eraser shavings, uh, from my sketches, especially if I'm outside and I'm doing cafe sketches, uh, I'm going to get really hot and my hands are going to get oily or sweaty and I don't want to add that oil to the, the paper. So I use that not just, uh, when I'm out and about, I also have these in my studio space so that I'm not having to smear, um, across my, my paper. This cute little bag. It's iridescent with little stars on it and a little star on the zipper. I picked this up for like three dollars in Vegas earlier this year and it's pretty cute and this has all of my art essentials. I have my black wing pencil sharpener which I love. Um, I have this which I'm going to get into in a minute. I have a small little eraser. I have two ink uh, pens. One is a liner and one is a brush pen. Let's see. I have my favorite type of pencil, which is a red color erase, and I use these all the time. I have a more basic standard uh, mechanical pencil, and then I have the beast of all mechanical pencils. As you can see, the, uh, the lead is very, very thick. I picked that up, I think, last year at San Diego Comic-Con, and I love it. And lastly, from my little bag here, I have my pocket knife which I use um, sometimes to uh, sharpen my pencils, but a lot of times I, uh, when I'm out and about and I'm walking, I'll actually use this to uh, cut flowers and bring them home to my studio and put them in a little vase. So I really like having that. Uh, I've also had a number of these confiscated at Disneyland and TSA because I just forget that they're in my bag and then they get taken away. But luckily they're only like $7. In here, if you open this up, I have a few little travel size um, watercolor brushes. So they just pop out like that and it's easy to um, just carry them around. They don't take up a whole lot of space. They're really nice and I love these. So that is what is inside of this little 
um, leather pouch and they have three sizes and the smallest size I actually have two of so there's four of them in here which uh, again is very very convenient to have um, I will also carry with me a book right now I'm just started this book um, but it's so if I get bored uh, or I need a break from drawing I have something else to do so I have that uh, I also have a notebook where I take notes for the day, what I want to accomplish, uh, anything that I need to remember. And so I'll always have one of these as well as a pen to go with it. And I believe that's it. So yeah, this is my standard bag. Um, when I'm getting ready to leave the house, it has everything that I need for drawing as well as just the essentials like my, uh, my wallet and my car keys and then my AirPods. Um, so it's pretty convenient to just be able to grab this bag and go. Uh, even, you know, even with all this stuff inside, there's still room to spare, like I said at the beginning of the video, and it's not overly heavy. Now, I'm going to try to find a bunch of links for you guys and put them in the description below. Mostly, I'm going to be focusing on the enamel pins um, and maybe some of the other items like the sketch wallet and uh, like maybe where to get some of these sketchbooks from. But anyway that's my bag. I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look inside and um, try to stay safe everybody. I hope you're all staying healthy and well and uh, for anybody that's interested you can support me on Patreon or find me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'll leave the links below. Thanks guys so much and I will see you next time.